Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Good, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, and thank you for being here, and I appreciate the support, and thank you for the super thanks. So we just had a monumentous event in history, is what people are saying, and it's been steeped in history, is what people are saying also. So people are also saying that the reconciliation between the brothers is nonsense. Yes, they're picking it up finally, you guys. And that any public engagements in the future are not going to be happening anytime soon. Yeah, we can agree with that here on this channel. So also other people are saying that if they were to pay off Markle, it would have to be done in installments because we know what a blackmailer she is. And in order to keep her silence and to keep her away and keep her happy is not to give her one lump sum, but installments. I have to agree with that. Uh, also, other things are being said, this has been on Quora, is that uh, Charles, and I have to agree with this, you know, he was pandering to her ego. Uh, give her that little bit of sense of victory, you know, and Harry as well. Uh, you know, it's to avoid the smear campaign. It was a good maneuver, I have to admit, uh, because he knows what he's, you know, you're playing with the snake, so you got to handle them very carefully. Uh, or they bite really quickly with their venom. So this was a, a way to get um, get things done and keep the focus where it belongs, which was not on them. And I love the candle. That candle was brilliant, brilliant move, as well as putting the guard in front of Harry with the huge hat, the tallest guardsman there, and put him in front of Harry. So they did, they did do their maneuvers quietly, as they always do. And uh, that was played out, and that was very intentional. And that's uh, bravo, 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 bravo. I absolutely adored it and loved it when I saw it, as many of you have well. Yeah, so she got her candle in the wind moment, which I think is they're going to extinguish her, um, her image soon, right? That's how I see it. Yeah, you got your candle in the wind. Now it's time's up almost. Uh, blocking her, blocking her, and blocking her. Just absolutely brilliant. Uh, the lowering of the casket was um, really something else. Uh, very sad moment. Uh, wow, just wow is all I can say. Just heart heart wrenching, and I can only imagine how you guys feel. All right, so let's get on with it. Let's find out uh, what this brazen woman has asked of Charles. Uh, they're saying she's being brave, but I call it brazen. Okay, so it's a brazen a brazen meeting. Uh, we know she's tungsten. He views her as tungsten. Uh, she's very unbending. So what kind of brazen request did she have? Oh, she wants to go after some goals here. She is goal-driven, so she wants to talk about goals and how can we move forward here? We want the same goals as you, King Charles. What can we do to settle this black and white thinking, this battle of the wills and push forward so we can go forward with good intentions here? Let's get our act together here and work together. Work in harmony, emotions and intellect in harmony. Let's please just achieve them. So it's a road trip. I know you're, you sent, you're sending us on our way, but is there any way we can achieve a mutual triumph here? Mm. Okay. What's the challenging position? Challenging position is making it successful. Yeah. That is winning, getting the recognition. She wants recognition. Attention is attention is attention is attention. Uh, it's the only way for her to move forward is to keep the bond and keep any connection. It's all about her on her own terms. That's the challenge. How can I get him to be on my team so it's on my terms so I can still feel like I'm a winner? On her terms. You got that? It's always on her terms. And that is what the Six of Swords, Six of Wands is. It's a, a lot of it is kind of narcissism too. A lot of readers do view it because they're all about winning. Win, 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 win. Got to win, win, win. So she wants to win. She's painting it. She wants to win with him. That's the that's the paintbrush that she's using right now. It's just a paintbrush. Doesn't mean she's going to actually do it. Doesn't mean she actually means it. It's just her paintbrush, how she wants to paint things. Let's get to the focal point. Focal point. She knows she needs them. She needs them for her own strength. They're the only thing that keeps her up, keeps her above ground. It's the only thing that keeps her on her feet, period. It's the only way she can have any confidence whatsoever. Balance. Let's strengthen the royal family together. Uh-huh. 
Okay, that's quite the paintbrush, you guys. Let's get to the past position that no longer serves. The past position that no longer serves. That is the Four of Wands in reverse. So she doesn't like being away from the stability of the family. Harry's not happy. Harry's very unbalanced. They're at a complete stale standstill, and they're not succeeding. Uh, she knows that they're not going to be invited to the parties and celebrations because uh, the Four of Wands is all about a good home and work environment. It's about feeling free. Uh, they don't feel so free. They thought they were, you know, finding freedom. They're not free. They're not free at all. They're not able to maintain what they have. Uh, this is leaving home. Uh, they left home, but it's not a good situation. Now, a lot of negative emotions and feelings in this. It's not a good home environment, nor is it a good work environment. They did deem that to them, but now that's no longer serving them. They left, and now that she's realizing, mm, wow, we're so stale right now. Nobody sees this as pure. Nobody sees this was as a good move. It's, she's waking up that everyone sees that there's no stability there at all. And there's no fire in the relationship either. And it just doesn't serve them anymore. Being gone does not serve them. So they, they realize that they made a huge error of judgment. She's probably also realizing she should have held off in uh, several more years. Uh, she wasn't expecting Queen Elizabeth to pass away. I think she was probably expecting her to make it to 100. And uh, this was unexpected, which is really shaking their foundation to its core. Uh, it's really rattling them. Uh, and very negative energy. Uh, they're, they're not going to be able to build up a foundation for themselves. Their foundation's crumbling. Uh, whatever they built up is going to come crumbling down. Yes, okay. No growth. No purity whatsoever. Yeah, very impure. People paint them very dark as they deserve. Let's get to the hidden core. The hidden core. The hidden core. We have here seven of wands. So at the bot, so at the core situation here with the seven of wands, uh, upright. Uh, she has to persevere. She's got to put out resumes. She needs clients. She knows she has to work for herself. She knows she's stuck working for herself, and I don't think she's happy about it. She's got to use all means necessary to protect whatever it is she feels that she has gained. And that is it. She wants to protect being still in the family. That's why she's meeting with them. I got to protect staying, staying connected because we're falling apart. So she's kind of backpedaling uh, so that she could still appear as though she's connected in harmony with the six of wands and that they have energy to give to her because it's a wand. So she wants to make sure she can get some positive PR by appearing though she's connected to them because that makes her feel like she's a winner. That makes her feel like she can succeed at her goals, even though she knows the house of cards is tumbling down with that four of wands in reverse. Everything she built up is crashing and she's, she's attempting to hang on through threads. Really it's, it's hanging on by a thread, a total thread. And she's only got one thread left in her hand here. Uh, and so that's, she's clinging. She's just clinging for dear life to stay connected. Uh, let's go to the, uh, future, the future, the future for her meeting and what she was purposely aiming for. Not so much what she said, because whatever she says is going to be manipulation, emotional manipulation and, and blackmail. It's not truth. It's just what is her really, her, her focus here. Yeah, seven of swords in reverse. This is the liar, the malice, the person that works against you, the snake in the grass, uh, the person who wears a mask, that person who's sort of antisocial, sociopathic, does whatever they can to win, will take from others to win, works against you, complete betrayer, dishonorable, devil energy, they get a charge out of it, hoping their lies won't go noticed, but uh-uh, sorry, it all got caught. She got busted. She knows it. She's been unmasked. We know your lies. And now she knows she has a desire to change. Oh, my. Can I? I can change all of this. We can change. I don't need to be a parasite. I'm, I'm not leeching on, off of you. I'm really not trying to leech off you. I'm just trying to protect little Harry here. So she's going to pretend that she's trying to protect Harry. We know we've lied. We know we've done things. Please, can we change this? Can we do anything here? So a little bit of begging and pleading going on here. Let's get to the feelings in the situation. Feelings in the situation. Oh, she knows he is not happy with her. The emperor in the reverse. I have made you so unhappy. I've painted you in the negative light. I've painted everybody in the negative light. 
uh, Daddy Dearest in reverse. So she knows what she's done. He's not happy with her. He doesn't really want to hear her out. He's ready to take the gloves off and do what he has to do. I Don't call me father. I'm not your father. You, yeah, you're not my daughter-in-law anymore. Uh-uh. No, we're not doing this anymore. So Charles is not having it. Thank God. Charles is not having it. Bravo. Thank God, Charles. King Charles, you go. All right. So let's go to the outside influences affecting King Charles and Megan and Harry. Outside influences affecting them. Oh, you guys are going to have to work hard. You're going to have to work at it. You're going to have to work at getting me back. Yes, you will. Let's see how well you do at this. Let's see how well you master whatever work you put into. So it takes work. It takes teamwork for the dream work. Uh, and he realizes, hey, you're no teamwork. You're not part of the teamwork dream work. This is what the family is. We are a team. We're a working team. We work together to master skills and to, to benefit not only ourselves, to, but to benefit other people. The three of pentacles in reverse is, is working only for yourself. So the outside influence that's, that's affecting Megan and Harry and King Charles uh, is the fact that it is a teamwork. And it's not for your benefit. It's not the it's not the three of pentacles in reverse for only your benefit. You've got to benefit the firm. You've got to benefit the UK. You've got to benefit the royal family. You've got to benefit the causes, not for your sole purpose of fake charities and and giving away one uh, percent or whatever, and then pocketing the rest. So he's on to their games. He knows what their work is. He's not happy with it because he's in reverse there. So he's calling her out on it. She's saying, maybe we can work together for the benefit of all. Don't believe it, but that's what she's saying. So let's get to the hopes and fears, the hopes and fears, hopes and fears. Here we go. Ah, oh boy. Can we please all just be happy? We just want to be happy. We want to glow up with you, King Charles III. I'm going to have another baby, King Charles. Yes, we are pregnant. We're going to have another child. Uh-huh. And this will purify everything. I got a little seed growing in me. No, she doesn't. She's going through HRH. She's trying to retrieve a rotten egg. Put it in a Petri dish and hope she can grow something in a Petri dish while she wears a silicone bump. We know that's what she does. She wants to glow up. She needs to glow up and she wants to do it by faking a pregnancy also. And she wants to find joy and happiness. And attention is attention. Atten shine the light on me. It's a way to shine the light on her with a fake pregnancy too. So she, she dropped the bomb on the... Uh, the baby news on what they're attempting to do via Petri dish, but she's probably lied to him about that. Let's get to the final call. Final call. <laughs> well, that one wanted out. We have the fool in reverse. Yeah, you went through the wrong path and now you're stuck and you're drowning. You're drowning in your own path and your traitor energy. He's telling her no, no, no. You're not getting a new phase with us. Uh, we're not getting out of our comfort zone right here anymore. And, uh, this would be a bad decision, uh, to start anything big or new with you right now. Uh, it would be very reckless. So basically she was told no, she was told no at the bottom of the deck. I have here King Charles is in, in control. He's the ruler. I'm the ruler. Hear me roar. Yeah. King of wands. It is my ruler card. Uh, he's willing to commit as a husband and a father. He's a good manager of affairs. He's dynamic, driven, and inspired, and can overcome all challenges, bravery, innovation, new ventures. He is the ruler. I'm in charge now. I'm in charge now. You made me mad. Not going to bode well for them at all. Not at all. So there you have it. So she dropped the baby bomb, and she's faking that she she's someone that you can work with. She's not someone you can work with. So that's all future faking trying to rewrite. She's backpedaling. So I want to introduce you. I've got this new deck here. Uh, it's called Dreams of Gaia. I'm going to be using this and trying to implement it, but it's a, it, it's a, for a very advanced readers, apparently from what I read. And it has more than just up to 10. It goes up to like 12, 13. Uh, it comes with a big book here. And I don't understand the deck, but I would like to pull a few cards. It's sort of a combination between tarot and uh, Oracle combined, but they say it's very, very effective. Some uh, very experienced readers use this exclusively. 
So I'm going to pull a, just, uh, I'm gonna pull one and, and start that way. And then I'm obviously gonna have to work with it privately uh, so that I can really get this down because I can tell it's gonna take me a little time here. So here we go. I'm gonna pull a card on the overall feeling of the situation. Overall feeling in this situation. Boom, that popped. What do I have here? Okay, what I have here is a perception in reverse. That's easy enough. But I know that, as you can see, it is 10, 21. 21, it's a card 21 there. So it goes way up than the ordinary. So, nope, actually that is 13. Yeah, X, X, yeah, maybe not. I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Anyways, it is perception in reverse. Sure, she came in with her sword, acting like uh, she had clarity of thought because, you know, perception upright is having sort of like an ace of swords vibe to this card uh, and speaking your truth and speaking with clear thought, clear intention, high vibe. You're speaking actual truths with true intellect, with sharp decision-making skills, uh, you know, having this unbiased intelligence, a sort of queen of swords vibe here, um, but she's in reverse. Uh, you know, she's bitter, cold, resentful, revengeful, and she's not speaking her truth. Her truth is not the truth. It's clouded. It's clouded judgment. It is um, built on mental illness. It is built on everything that they do not stand for. And she's she's being cut out. It's also being cut out. When the sword is down, they literally can surgically remove you. So I think she knows she's going to be basically removed uh, because she is not, she's not, she's not someone that they want to work with. I feel she knows she's getting cut out. So I see this as her being cut out of the family completely. <laughs> And that is the beginning of that deck. And I have lots of studying to do, but it is a beautiful deck. I will show you a few cards here. They've got some really pretty imagery here. So I'll show you some more. Yeah, there you go. So I was drawn to the colors and the artwork. And um, yeah, it's it's got a lot of symbolism in there. Tons and tons of symbol, symbolism. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Well, we'll see how it works for me. <laughs> Wish me luck. I'm going to need it. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, like and subscribe. Bye.